Hey guys, here's a quick bonus vlog style video. I decided I was gonna start doing these and just sort of peppering them in with the other videos anytime there's something that's happening in my snake room that might be of interest. And there is currently something happening in my snake room and it's not good. Uh, the inspector has been in shed all week and has stayed in his warm side hide. I went in this morning as soon as I woke up and checked on him and he had, he had a full shed. So I pulled him out to check over him. And as I was holding him, I felt uh, wetness dripped down on me. And I was like, oh man, did you just pee on me? And it wasn't pee. It came from his nose. So, which is a respiratory infection. He's got a full on respiratory infection. And then I, and then I looked at him and he opened his mouth slightly and closed it, opened it again, slightly and closed it, which is a big sign of a respiratory infection. Uh, and he's never done that before. So I'm very concerned. I called a vet as soon as I could, uh, this morning, I'm taking him into the Burbank veterinary, uh, care center or whatever it's called. Anyway, it's right down the road. Uh, they can see me at four o'clock or see him at four o'clock. And I'll, I'll document that, but I, I'm guessing what I'll have to do is uh, bring him in, drop him off, and sit and wait in the car. That's, that's how most of the vets are working right now. But my, my big concern here is, you know, if he's showing respiratory infection right now, that means that he's had a respiratory infection for a while. It takes a long time for snakes. You know, their systems are so slow that it takes a long time to get to where they're really showing like this. And uh, I've been pairing him, as you know, with Freya, Damara, and Lydia. And so I've checked them over. What I did is I, I put him back, took a shower, changed my clothes, got all disinfected, and then um, checked on the girls. And I didn't do a full, like I haven't opened their mouths or anything, I'm, I'm going to, but I just wanted to check their noses, check their faces, make sure that there is no uh, wetness coming out of their mouths or anything. And they all seem fine right now. I'll, again, I'll do a, uh, a more thorough inspection. But anyway, going to the vet at four o'clock today and we'll see what she says. Uh, hopefully we'll get him on a course of antibiotics and I'll give him shots, I guess, probably. Um, or maybe oral, but I, th I, I think shots are better, although I might be wrong. We'll see what the vet says. Um, wish me luck, you guys. Okay, we're gonna get this boy off to the vet. Oh, sorry, buddy, I didn't mean to scare you. We're gonna get this boy off to the vet and on his way to wellness, hopefully. You good, buddy? All right, so he's going in a bag and then I'm gonna put him in a tub also. I don't know if I can stay or if the vet's gonna make me, you know, just drop him off. Do that. And he's going in this tub. I'm gonna wash my hands and we'll get out of here. I'm in. Apparently they let you come in in this place, which is great. So there's the inspector. And now I'm just waiting for the vet. I don't know if you guys can see that, but his nose is super red. And it wasn't really last week. I mean, I don't know, maybe it was a little bit and I didn't notice, but not to that extent. Also, he's got, you see that bump on the top of his nose, like right in between his nostrils? I'm concerned about that. Hang on, let me see if I can get this focused. So, I don't know if that has to do with anything. That could be an abscess or something on his nose. I don't know if you can see it very well, but uh, that was something that I did see earlier and was a little bit concerned about. And I thought, oh, I might have to take him to the vet for that. And now it's gone down a little bit and it's colored it wasn't discolored before but now it is you see how it's kind of greenish his tongue flicks as he's exploring around or slower you can see that and look at how dark red his tongue is and the front of his face is nose sorry buddy did that scare you Okay, you guys, back from the vet. The inspector is back in there. And, uh, you know, they did a they did a culture and gave him a shot. And I can't remember what the shot was. Uh, 
I'll have to look at the thing and see. But uh, they gave him a shot of this stuff, and uh, we'll give him another one in three days. And she's saying that it usually only takes two, so this must be potent stuff, because I know a lot of times you would go a round of six, maybe. Anyway, my, my main concern, aside from the health of the inspector, which is the main one, but my other main one is this. We did a culture to find out what... The, what's causing this, you know, is it a virus or a bacteria or whatever, but there might be a chance that I've got to rip this entire thing out and throw it away. Um, which I really hope I don't have to do. If that's the case, he'll have to live in a tub for a little while while I rip that out, clean it completely out, redo it, and put him back in there. Um, that would be a bummer. That's, that's a lot of work. In that so that you run that risk i guess when you have a bioactive enclosure you run the risk of having some bacteria or something infect the entire thing and you got to redo it so we'll see if that happens or not hey you guys here's an evening update uh i was just warming up some rodents to feed to a couple other snakes and the inspector unexpectedly came out of his hide looking for food. I didn't think he would because, you know, he's in the middle of a respiratory infection, number one. But number two, he just came from the vet, which was pretty traumatic for him. He got a shot and everything. But he came out ready to eat, so I gave him a small rat, and he's down there. I pulled some of his hide away because I wanted to monitor this because I wasn't sure he was going to eat it, but he's down there. He's getting it down, no problem. So that's... um. That's a good sign, I think. He's still eating. Getting it down. He's got a little substrate in his mouth there. I'm not too worried about that. I can hear some breathing a little. A little bit of wheezing. That's just him trying to deal with that substrate. And he's going back in his hide, and I'll put the other piece. He's got another big piece to his hide that it goes right where he sort of is right now. But I wanted to monitor this. He got it down just like normal. It's great. Happy about that. As soon as he goes back in, I'll put his hide back together. And he'll sit there for the next three days digesting, which is great. And then he'll get another shot on Monday. So the positive things that the vet said, if there are any, are that his eyes look good. He's still gaining weight. He's up about 40 grams from, from last month based on their scales. And uh, he shed perfectly and, and pooped last night. So, um, and that all looked fine. So that's good at least. Uh, the big concern is the clearly massive respiratory infection that he has. So anyway, um, thanks for being with me on this little update video. The regular Green Room Pythons weekly video will be up on Monday. It's set to upload on Monday, so that'll be there. And based on what the results of the inspector's culture are, I may end up doing a regular Green Room Pythons video on either how to deal with a respiratory infection or potentially, if I have to, ripping that whole enclosure out and rebuilding it, which I really hope I don't have to do. Um, but we'll know next week. So anyway... Thanks for being with me on this one.